Is that live? Yep. Hi, and welcome to yoga. So we had some technical difficulties. I hope you're doing fine. I'm hoping that you are safe and healthy. Um, so if you have a yoga mat, please go ahead and grab it and put it on the floor. You can just do your practice on the floor or on a towel as well. If you have blocks, maybe you can use them. If you don't, you can always just use a stack of books, like an encyclopedia, if you've got that, if you still know what that is. So a big pile of books might help as well, if otherwise you cannot reach the floor. So go ahead and grab that. And just for now, go into your easy pose, into a seated position. And just get into the moment. If you want to close your eyes, just take a moment to settle in and see if you can focus on your breath. You don't have to change anything. Just become aware of the way that you are breathing. See if you're breathing fast or slow, shallow or deep, high into your chest or low into your belly. And remember, you don't have to change anything, you just become aware. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale with a sigh through the mouth. You can make sound if you like. Inhale through the nose. Deep exhale. If you want to, do that again. And keep your eyes closed or open them, whichever you prefer. Bring your right hand next to you. Inhale to lift your left hand up. Exhale to reach all the way over. And I would like you to feel a stretch in your left side. So that might mean pulling your elbow a little bit further back or even moving it forward. Just play around with it a little bit until you feel your side. Inhale up, exhale, and switch to the other side. And again, play around, experiment, and become aware of your body. Inhale up, and exhale, to switch to the other side. And now see if you can close your chest towards the knee, hand comes down, you can even drop the hand down if you like. Remember your hands and feet are mobile at this point, your hands, so if you want to move that right hand, go ahead and do so. And again, you're still feeling your side on the left side. Now a little bit lower, probably. And slowly walk to center. So we're doing a mild back stretch here. And at the same time, you might feel a little bit of a stretching into your buttocks. And move all the way to the left, keeping that closed chest. Move your hands wherever. And if necessary, replace the left hand and I'm lifting up the right up in the air overhead. Inhale up and exhale down. And bring your hands back, fingertips uh, usually towards the buttocks, but it might be easier or more comfortable for you to put them a little bit out. And move your knees towards the mat, lifting your buttocks up, shoulder blades move towards each other. And if it feels comfortable, you can drop your head. I don't, personally, I don't like that, but that depends on your body. Exhale to release. And then bring your right hand next to the left thigh. Inhale the lengthen. Exhale the twist. 
deep breath in. Exhale to come to center. Switch to the other side. So left hand, switch to the right side. Right hand back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Bring your shoulders low away from your ears. Deep breath in. Exhale to center. Switch your legs. To the other cross legged position or half a lotus or an entire lotus if you have that going on. And then again, right hand next to you, inhale, left hand over. And then again, close chest, slowing down. Replace the right hand if you like. Walking your hands forward. Get a little bit of a back stretch. And at the same time, you might feel your buttocks, depending on which leg is forward, one side or the other. And then move all the way to the left. Again, with a close chest. And if necessary, replace the left hand. Inhale, open up that right. Feeling that side stretch. Inhale up, exhale down. Hands back, fingertips towards you or a little bit out if that's more comfortable. Knees towards the floor, lifting up the buttocks. Shoulder blades move towards each other, really lifting up. One more breath. And on your exhale, slowly move down. Right hand towards the left thigh, left hand back. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Take a deep breath in. Exhale to go to center. Switch to the other side. So left hand towards the right side, right hand back. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Deep breath in, exhale to come to center. Place your hands in front of you, roll over your knees, untangle your legs into your tabletop position. Inhale to arch your back, exhale to round your back, warming up the spine. So the main function of getting cow is to warm up the spine. And I'm making suggestions, so I would say inhale as you arch your back and exhale as you round your back. If your body wants to do it the other way around, feel free to do so. And maybe you just want to stay here and get in power. Maybe you want to move side to side or even make circles. Play around with that. And do whatever your body needs to do here. And slowly come back into a neutral position, tucking the toes under. And on your next exhale, go into your down dog. So your down dog never has to be steady. You can always walk your dog, as they say, so you can always bend one knee at a time. And here as well, you can play around with your dog. So I'm always doing functional yoga, which means that every body is different. Every bone and every body is different. So what works for one person doesn't necessarily have to work for another. So if you want to replace the hands, maybe you're the further out or in, please do so. And the same goes for your feet. Take another deep breath. And inhale, bringing the right foot up. Exhale, bringing the right foot forward in between your hands. And then lower that left knee down. And here I would like you to feel the stretch into your left hip flexors. And just see what happens because usually we go a little bit down, it feels more comfortable, but see what happens if you lift a little bit higher up. So we use those hip flexors the entire day, uh, even by just sitting down at the office or uh, at home now. We use your hip flexors, but we hardly ever stretch them. That's why we feel them right now, or at least I do. And as you can see, my hands or my arms are too small to put it on the outside, so that's why I'm replacing the hands. So feel free to do the same. 
Then tuck your hind toes under, replace the hands if you need to, step back into your plank. Propping the knees down, squeezing the abs, elbows, go back, lower your body, exhale, inhale. Small cobra, so shoulders away from the ears, elbows slightly bent. And on your exhale, go into your down dog again. On your next inhale, lifting up the left foot. And then bring that left foot forward, planting the right knee down. Again, as you can see, I'm replacing my hands. You just do what is comfortable for you, what works for your body. And again, try to experiment a little bit what happens if you lift a little bit higher. And I would like you to feel the hip flexors on the right side at this point. Tucking the toes under, replace if you need to, step back into your plank, straight line, dropping the knees down if you need to, bending the elbows going down, inhale for your cobra, exhale to lower down, hands and feet up, inhale, balasana, shoulder blades move towards each other, so you feel your entire backside, your legs, your back, in between the shoulder blades. Exhale to lower, inhale, small cobra, release the legs on the floor. And on your exhale, go into your down dog once more. Again, your dog doesn't have to be static, so you can always walk your dog. On your next inhale, come to the toes. Exhale to bend the knees. Inhale, step or jump forward, keep extending the back, exhale down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, mountain. Good. Inhale, lift, bend your knees. Exhale, lower, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. If you cannot reach the floor, use your shins or even the upper legs, shoulder blades move towards each other. Exhale, plant the hands down, step or jump back into your plank. Drop your knees down if you need to and go down. Exhale, inhale, cobra. Exhale, down. Inhale, balasana. Shoulder blades towards each other. Exhale, down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down, down. Inhale, right foot up, bending the knee, opening up your hip. So you're stacking your right hip on top of the other. Then move your leg up again, and then move the leg forward in between your hands. So this is where you might need your stack of books. If you don't have blocks and you cannot reach the floor, use your books. So I would like you to feel, again, your hip flexors on the left side. Back. Inhale to step back. Drop to the knees if you need to. Go down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Up. Inhale left foot up. Bending your knee, opening up that hip. On your next exhale, bring your foot forward in between your legs. Keep your right knee high. And if you're able to look forward, so you extend your back. Good. Inhale, step back. And either go straight into down dog or do another vinyasa. So in vinyasa is a chaturanga down, cobra up, and then back into your down dog. Always choose your own options here. And if you're down dog, so you're getting too hard, feel free to just relax into your child's pose. Inhale, come to the toes. Exhale, to bend the knees back. Inhale, step or jump forward. Keep extending. Exhale, down. Inhale, bend the knees. Utkatasana. Hands together or hands loose. Doesn't really matter. Exhale, to lengthen. 
Inhale, bend the knees. If you need to replace the feet a little bit wider, that's fine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up on the shins if you need to. Exhale, step or jump back into your plank. Drop to the knees if you need to. Go down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, balasana, shuffle blades towards each other, lifting the legs as well. Exhale down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down, down. Inhale, right foot up. Bend your knee, open up. Exhale, left forward. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right hand down. And inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale up. And angel wings, so behind your head, angel wings, open up your chest. And exhale, go down. Inhale, to step back into your plank or go directly into your down dog. Vinyasa. Inhale, left foot up, bending the knee, open up. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, left hand up. Keep breathing. By next exhale, left hand down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, high knee down. Inhale, angel wings, open up your chest, bending the front knee. Exhale, to go down. Either go directly into your down dog or do another vinyasa. So chaturanga, cobra, down dog. Again, if your down dog is too much, go back into your child's pose. Inhale to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees back. Inhale, step or jump forward. Keep extending. Exhale down. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, length. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back. Drop to your knees if you need to. Go down. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot up. Bend your knee, open up. And on your next exhale, plant the leg forward in between your hands. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hind knee down. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. So turn the hind foot, bend your front knee and go forward. Keep breathing here. Strength from the front leg, opening up your hip. Good. Can be a little bit tough, this one. Inhale up. Angel wing. So open up. Exhale down to the mat. Either go into your down dog or do another vinyasa. Always choose your own options. Inhale, left foot up. Open up, exhale, left foot forward, inhale, left hand up, exhale, left hand down, inhale, rise, exhale, high knee down, inhale, exhale, warrior two. So again, turn the hind foot, bending the front knee, and try to look over your hand, stay here. So the main purpose here is to strengthen that leg, but you probably already knew that. On your next inhale, rise. Angel wings open up. Exhale down. Either do another vinyasa or go back into your down dog. Choosing your option.
Inhale, let come to the toes. Exhale, the bend the knees back. Inhale, step or jump forward. Keep extending. Exhale, bend. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, lengthen. Awesome. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back. Drop to the knees if you need to. Go down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, down. Inhale, right foot up. Bend your knee, open up. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend the hind knee. Good. Inhale, turn the hind foot. Exhale, warrior two. Now keep your weight forward. Turn the hand. Inhale, reverse warrior. Feeling that inside side stretch. Exhale, bring the hands forward. Inhale up, turning the head forward. Angel wings, going down. Awesome. Either do not a vinyasa or down dog, choosing your options. Inhale, left foot up. Bend the knee, open up. Left foot forward. Inhale, left hand. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, bend your hind knee. Awesome. Inhale up. Turn the hind foot. Exhale, warrior two. Turning the hand. Inhale, reverse warrior. So you should feel this in your side. Go back to your warrior. Inhale up, turn the foot. Angel wings, open up your chest. Great. Go down. Go for your down dog or a vinyasa. Inhale to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, step or jump. Exhale, go down. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, lengthen. Great. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward foot. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back. <laughs> up to your knees if you need to. Go down. Inhale up. Exhale, down, up. Mm -hmm. Inhale, right foot up, bend your knee, open up. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, lift up, bend your knee, exhale, down. Good. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior two. Turn the hand. Inhale. Exhale, back to warrior two. Inhale, rise up, turn the hip forward. And then on your next exhale, go into your warrior three. So what I would like you to do here is move the shoulder blades together. So in the beginning, we did Balasana, lifting up. And I also told you to move the shoulder blades towards each other. Here's the same thing. Strength from that right leg. Good. Inhale. Foot all the way back. Rise up. Angel wings. Go down. Step back into your down dog or vinyasa. Good. Inhale, left foot up, bend your knee over. Move your foot forward. Inhale, left hand. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, turn the hind foot. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, turn the hands, reverse warrior. Go back to your warrior two. Hands up, turn the hip. Find your balance, move your weight forward, warrior three. Shoulder blades move towards each other. 
Keep breathing. Set that right foot all the way back. Inhale, rise up. Angel wings, bending your front knee. Exhale down, nice. Go to down dog or do another vinyasa. And then from here, bring your knees to the floor in your tabletop position. Good. Inhale the arch. Exhale the rounds. So getting out. And if you're rather, just go into your circle, sort of a swaying from side to side, feel free to do so. And then bring your spine back into that neutral position. So we've got a little bit of tension here on the abs. And move your right hand underneath the left and thread the needle. Your hips are over your knees. And inhale, lift up that left hand to the ceiling. What you might also do is you want to put your left hand onto your back or if you prefer moving it forward. And stay in that position and I'll show it to you from the side as well. You can get mostly here into your back. With a bit of a twist as well. Now either you want to stay here or you want to put your left hand closer to your head. And I'm lifting up that left leg. So as soon as I open up my hip, I will roll over. So keep that hip squared. And I will feel, you will feel your abs here, in your back. That's all right. And if you still think this is easy, you can also move your hand back forward. Choosing your own options. And exhale to release the leg, bring the hand back next to the head, inhale up, exhale to put it down and again, inhale, and exhale for the pain cow. And do that in your own pace. And then bringing your spine back into that neutral position. In your left hand, underneath the right. Lifting up the right hand to the ceiling. Or if you like, if you prefer, onto your back. Or if you prefer, forward. Choosing your own options. If you want to do more, bring your left, uh, sorry, uh, 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 your right hand back to your head. <laughs> it's confusing, right or left? No, <laughs> lifting up your leg. Right leg for you guys. And again, as soon as you open up the hip, you will fall over. So keep that hip split. If it's still easy, then move your hand forward. But remember, choose your own options. You never have to do anything, just listen to your body. You're not more awesome for doing one thing over another. You're just awesome for being here and for joining me today. And slowly bring your left back, bring your hand to your head, inhale up, exhale, put the other one more. Inhale, arch your back, exhale, go around. And again, if you prefer to just sway from side to side or go into a little bit of a circle, feel free to do so. And slowly go all the way down onto your belly. And move your head to the right. And your hands to each side of your body. 
lifting up or bending your right knee and then moving it over towards the left side. So we're again making a twist out of that spine, out of the body. But even if you haven't noticed it, we are doing a lot of twists today and a lot of work for the back. Inhale, lift, back. So the blend of the back on the floor and one shoulder all the way down. Move your head to the uh, left side. Bending your left knee. Open up and move that left knee over to the right side. Inhale up, exhale, bring it down. Bring the hands closer to the chest. Inhale, small cobra. Exhale, down. Again, inhale, cobra. Exhale, down. Inhale, stay up. Now, if you want to, and this might feel a little bit tricky on the back. Move your left hand a little bit further in, your right hand back, and then look over your shoulder. So again, we are twisting. Arching the back, so you might put this in the lower back. You should kind of hang it into it. Take another deep breath, and exhale to release forward, and go all the way down, relax for a moment. If you want to put your hands underneath your forehead. And then bring your hands close to your chest again. Inhale for your cobra. So a small one, not too high. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, lifting up. And if you want to, bring in the right hand more center, your left hand back onto your leg, and then to see if you can relax that shoulder down instead of hanging into it. Relax it down and twist that. So again, this final twist, and again, an exercise for the lower back. Take another deep breath and exhale as you release forward and again relax over the knee. Now inhale for your cobra and exhale for your child's pose. And I would suggest moving your toes together and your knees wide, but do it however you want. So if you want to have your knees together, feel free to do that as well. Do whatever is comfortable for you. And then slowly move up into that kneeling position. And we are going for half camel. Um, so, again, if you have books or something, you can use them. Or if you have blocks, that's really better. I'm going to show it to you from the side. So, we are in the kneeling position. Inhale, the lift up. Shoulders back. It might be easier to stand on your toes. So if Distance to what your heels isn't all that far, otherwise, use your stack of boots or something else, maybe a stack of pillows. You know, lean back and you know, lift. Doesn't matter which side because we are switching anyway. So, usually, what our body wants to do is our body wants to sink to one side, please press it back to the center. We're we'll arching the back, open up the chest, shoulder away. And your head, I don't like to drop my head, but if you do, feel free to go ahead. Do what feels comfortable. Bring that hand towards your lower back, lifting up, and again, go for your child's pose. Relax, step back.
So we come back into a kneeling position, lifting up again, switch to the other side. And back, lifting up. Again, our bodies usually want to go to the other side. Please press it back. Lifting up here, forward. And bring your hand towards your lower back, lifting up and again, going for your child's going one more time. Bend your hands next to your head, lift up for your tabletop position, tuck your toes under, and exhale for your down back. Again, you can walk your dog if you like. Inhale and come to your toes, exhale the bend your knees. Inhale, step or jump, and exhale, sit down, and lift. Bring your knees to the chest. Pressing your knees out, moving your hands to each side of your body, and then move your legs to the right as your head goes to the left. Let's go sing once more. And some people feel, besides the, the twist, the main purpose of this asana is to twist the upper body. But some people feel their butts too, and maybe the IT bands, and the IT bands runs from your buttocks all the way to the knees, and you might feel it as well. You can also choose to put one hand on top of your leg or extend your higher leg, your upper leg. Do whatever is comfortable to you. Yeah, now I come back to center, absolutely. Switch to the other side. So your legs to the left and your head to the right. And again, the main purpose is to twist. Maybe you feel your buttocks and your IT then as well. You can put your hand on top of your knee if you like or on top of your leg. You can extend your leg. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, move your feet to the floor and relax in your total relaxation. And if you want to close your eyes, and just like in the beginning, just for a moment, focus on your breath. Your inhales and your exhales. You don't have to change anything. Just become aware. Maybe you feel a change compared to the beginning of class. There's no judgment in that change. Just an awareness. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale and sigh through the mouth. If you like to, do that again. And now wiggle your toes and your fingers. And give yourself a good stretch like you're waking up in the morning. If you're laying on your back, bring your knees to your chest. And I go rock back and forth until you are in a seated position. I roll to the side and lift your body up until you are sitting down. Inhale. Hands over. And exhale in front of your heart. Thank yourself for taking the time to be here today, to be here in this live stream. Super awesome. Thank you so much.
And if you like to bow a little bit deeper, Namaste. So guys, thank you so much for joining me in this live stream. You can watch it back on YouTube anytime today or next week, probably. Uh, if you like my class, please give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you soon, either in real life, which I always prefer, so I can see you guys or hear from you in the live stream. Thank you, and see you soon. Offline.